This week on the show, we have Cole Burnett, who stars in season three of the hit Netflix show, Love is Blind. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kick start your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that one of the biggest causes of unhappiness is focusing on lack. The reality is, when we put our focus and energy on what's lacking in our lives, it's easy to feel discouraged or feel a void. But when we flip the switch and instead focus our attention on abundance and all the wonderful things we already have in our lives, we begin to immediately feel happy and begin to fill our own cup with gratitude and love. For example, if you're struggling to make money, rather than focus your attention on the lack of it, be grateful for the money you do have in your account, even if it's a small amount, and relish in the feeling of gratitude. Here's another example. If you're focusing your attention on the lack of love in your life, instead, think of all the great relationships in your life and the people in your life that you feel supported by. Even focusing on one great relationship in your life you can turn your feelings from lack to an overwhelming sense of gratitude, making your mission today to stop yourself anytime you start focusing on lack in any area of your life and instead tap into the abundance in your life. The fact that you're here today is a sign that your life matters and that in itself is a blessing. As Dr. Wayne Dyer quotes, abundance is not something we acquire, it's something we tune into. Stay tuned coming up after the break. So what's something you learned about yourself in this process? Because you know, with any heartache or bad experience or good experience, you learn something about yourself. So what's something you've learned? Um, that's a good question. I think I learned what I do and don't want of like, I, the pods were one of the most epic experiences of the whole um, experiment itself because you do so much self-searching and self-disclosure that you really begin to realize like what you are looking for yeah. in a partner um, and then you also learn how to you know explain yourself and you have to think about well who am I and why would this person want to be with me like what is my value what's my purpose what do I you know stand for mm -hmm. so it was just all all around it just taught me to see myself clearer and then it taught me to think very intentionally about the type of woman i want to spend my life with wardrobe provided by h and m next on the show we have cole burnett from season three of the hit netflix show love is blind cole thank you so much for being on the show today how are you doing Hey, Daryl, good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited to talk to you. So as I asked all my guests that have been on reality dating shows, you know, what was it that intrigued you about the process to participate? Um, I watched season one and I thought season one was incredible. And so I actually hadn't seen season one until I started applying. And then I was applying because I had free time and I had been dating through dating apps and was like, well, you know, I guess I could give a show a shot. And then when I watched season one, that's when I really was like, okay, this is something I do want to do for sure. So, yeah. And, and what made you realize, you know what, I'm done with conventional dating. I'm going to try something new. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I was done with conventional dating, but I mean, I definitely realized that like most dating nowadays is already through apps. And yeah. so you know, why not give a, another style of dating a chance? So Love is Blind seemed like a very unique experience and I thought odds are it probably won't work, but if it if it did work, what a cool way to meet that would be. So, You know what, I think I'm the only person on the planet that has never used a dating app. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah, I've never used a dating app and uh, yeah, so <laughs> I just thought I would put it out there. But you know, one thing that I really liked about you on the show was that you were very vulnerable and authentic and I, I saw that. So were you always that vulnerable or was that something you kind of learned on the show? Um, I don't know exactly what part you're referring to, but I mean, I think I just, I was exactly the way I've always been. I don't think I changed for the show. So I guess I've always been that vulnerable. Yeah. No, I just feel like you were very, you know, in tune with your emotions. You were real. You didn't, you didn't yeah. hold anything back. <laughs> you were yourself. Right. I, 
I do feel that way. I'm that way in every sphere of life. I'm just like, if I'm going to do something, I should do it authentically and do it 100%. Um, and just really be me. So, yeah, that's just the way I am. I mean, hey, that's the way to be, right? To be you and people will love it or hate it, but like, at least you're being true to yourself. So the question of the day is, do you think love is blind? Uh, <laughs> I mean, maybe in the traditional sense, yeah. I believe love is blind, like love at first sight or kind of like, you know, falling blindly in love with someone, da da da. But I don't necessarily think that love is blind in the sense that the show is trying to present it to be. Like, because you're still begging the question of like, now how do you think about them physically, you know? So it's like, wait a second. Like, I think the Married at First Sight show is probably more an accurate representation of like, love is blind, quote unquote. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. I, I don't completely believe love is blind. I believe there's a lot of aspects of love and, you know, I feel like you have to see that connection in person to really connect and to know if you really care for that person, right? I mean, you could like the person's personality, but if you don't connect person to person, then I feel like, you know, there could be a little bit of... Yeah, love's not blind. <laughs> yeah, love is not love blind, not guys. Blind. No, why am I even beating around the bush? Love is blind. <laughs> I agree with you there. So what's something you learned about yourself in this process? Because, you know, with any heartache or bad experience or good experience, you learn something about yourself. So what's something you've learned? Um, that's a good question. I think I learned what I do and don't want of like, I, the pods were one of the most epic experiences of the whole um, experiment itself because you do so much self searching and self disclosure that you really begin to realize like what you are looking for yeah. in a partner. Um, and then you also learn how to, you know, explain yourself and you have to think about, well, who am I? Why would this person want to be with me? Like, what is my value? What's my purpose? What do I, you know, stand for? Mm -hmm. So it was just all, all around. It just taught me to see myself clearer. And then it taught me to think very intentionally about the type of woman I'm going to spend my life with. Yeah, absolutely. And has that changed? Have you... What are you now looking for now that you've been on the show and that you went through that experience? I, I mean, this sounds this sounds funny, I guess. It doesn't sound like a big, huge revelation, but I want some I want someone that I can have fun with and be my myself around and not ever feel like being myself is a bad thing. Um, I just think like being with someone who is secure and healthy enough to let you be you and love you for who you are. Right, like I think we've probably all been in a relationship at some point where we kind of wish the person we were with is a little different or they wish we were a little different. It's like, how how awesome would it be to be with someone who's like, they just love you where you're at. So that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think that's very valid. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I think we've all been there and you know, it's part of the process in dating, right? Sometimes, sometimes you have to go through a heartbreak in order to learn who you are, what you want and become better. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when I look back, some of the relationships that didn't work out, I became a better person after that. You know, I learned so much about myself. So nice. Yeah, I can. Absolutely. And cool. Like for our viewers that are curious about the whole process of love is blind. What's it like being in the pods going there? Were you nervous at all? Or did you have any hesitation? No, the pods are incredible. I was super excited about it. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of, you know, I knew nothing about TV or dating through a wall or any of that. But it was like, it was very cool getting to do the, the pods aspect of it in that um, I wasn't nervous. It was exciting because it removed an aspect that was always there in the real world, which was you're judging whoever you're meeting with based on how they look, how they dress, how they smell. And through the wall, it was one simple thing. It was, do I enjoy communicating with this person? Did they make me laugh? Um, do I like their story? Are they intelligent? What are their goals? And so, I mean, that aspect of it to this day, I love. It's kind of like whenever you're doing like a long distance relationship and you're just on the phone for hours together and you're like hanging out over a phone call or something. And yeah. it's, sometimes it's like, it builds all this tension between you and that person because you're not with them physically. So that, like that aspect of it is super cool. What do you want people to know about you that maybe they misunderstood on the show? Something that maybe looking back when you watch the show, you realize, okay, like, 
you know, did you did you show up authentically? Do you feel like you've showed who you really were on the show? And what would you say to people that, you know, what would you do differently? <laughs> I've got nothing to prove, nothing to hide, nothing to fear, nothing to lose. So I don't, there's nothing that I want people to know about me. I just want to be me and people can form their own opinions, but I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. So that's it. Absolutely. And would you go on another dating show again? Or is this is this it for dating for, for reality shows? Maybe. Maybe. It would have to be one that I actually saw it working out at the end. I would not do a show just for the sake of like doing a show that it hasn't created success for other couples. Like if I did another show, it would be one where I'm like, okay, this is actual a viable way to find a life partner. Absolutely. Which and is why I did Love and Splide as well. Yeah. And, you know, I created my platform to inspire, to uplift and, you know, for people to go after their dreams. So I want to ask you for anyone out there that's, you know, maybe scared to take that leap of faith um, and take a risk for love. What would you say to encourage and uplift them? You've got to take risks. Life is short. I mean, like, take risks. It's the only way to grow. It's the only way to fail. And the only way to succeed is to fail a few times. So. Yeah, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of who you are or ashamed of who you are. I think every single person has value to give to someone else. You need to figure out what your value is and then own it and go show it to people and, and yeah, find love. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And congratulations, by the way, because I, I commend you for and all of the contestants for taking that leap of faith and taking that risk because that's not easy to do. <laughs> and, you know, put yourself out there, be vulnerable and for the, the world to see it. So congratulations on taking that risk. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely a big risk. And sometimes you sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. And I learn. So. <laughs> and, and Cole, what are you currently working on? What else is next for you? Uh, doing a lot of real estate stuff, building a real estate team, and that's my main focus right now, as well as uh, just media and content creation. Very nice. Well, Cole, thank you so much for being on the show today and chatting with me. I wish you a lot of success, and uh, yeah, keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, Dario. Thanks for having me on. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Yeah.